What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action. Spawning on the left side of the map in the red color, playing as Aranos. His name is Grass the Kid. Grass the Kid is opponent today in the blue color, playing as Odin. His name is Shadowfax. Shadowfax, the legend here. See how he's going to go. Ops for the Great Hunt in his base this game as the goats coming back into the main town center. We do have Odin versus Aranos yet again. Shadowfax running it back, as it were, with his Odin here to see if he can take Grass and Groom out here on the map. Tropical Mirage. I love this map. This map's a really, really fun map. A bit of a strange hunt spawn here. You do have a couple of strange hunt spawns on Tropical Mirage. I'm a big fan of, of, a, of a, a, I can't speak, of a variety of hunt spawns on maps. I really, really like Oasis, for example. I like that you can have two, three, four, five zebra spawns. As opposed to, say, Blue Lagoon, which is just two giraffe, three giraffe. Those are your two options. If there's only two options, there's not a whole lot you have to really learn to be able to play that, that map. Obviously, there's a it's nice to have easier maps than others, so you can kind of just play them and, and work it out. Uh, so, we'll see how it, how it all goes, but Shadowfax was struggling in last game here due to a, a bit of an early game misstep or, miss, or, or a missed decision, so to speak. Uh, so, we'll see if him this game having access to the extra... Zebra, whereas Grass and Groom here, remember Grass and Groom, he's only got 600 food in his main base. We'll see if he's going to be able to find an advantage here. Now, on Tropical Mirage, in Tropical Mirage, there are many, many different hunting spots here. If we take a quick look, got a hunt spot over here, hunt spot over here, hunt spot over here, hunt spot over here. So there's, there's tons of hunt. But like always, Hunt, you have to move out of your base to go and get it for most of the maps. So, Grass is going to be under some pressure here in the early stages of the game. So, I have to wait and see if he's going to be able to defend against the pressure that Shadowfax puts on, and if Shadowfax actually does indeed put early pressure on in this game. So, we'll see how things are going to go. As Shadowfax is going to be throwing up his temple next to the... Uh, Next to the pyramid here, currently currently wedged inside of the pyramid because the pyramid is a strange strange thing nonetheless, but I'm going to be going there anyways. We just see the Girdle of Hippolyta here. This is a great relic here for uh, for both players to pick up. Extra 5% HP on uh, on Toxodes and throwing Axemen in this game. Not Toxodes, Arcus and throwing Axemen in this game is a big kind of deal. Uh, so I wouldn't mind seeing Shadowfax obviously grabbing that one here as the Oracle sitting in on this position. Villager is now moving up onto the giraffe over there as the villager does grab the temple. Now the question is going to be, will Grass here kind of realize that he that he needs more villagers on food? doesn't look like he does. He's, you see all of this extra wood that he's got? If you chuck that into a goat, that would not quite equal 100 or 90, 90 food, but it would equal about... 80 or 70 food so he would be able to advance here to the next age straight away as opposed to having a slight amount of delayed time now whether or not that's a problem leave it up to you to answer six seconds late to the classical age big problem small problem don't know but it's a thing nonetheless as we do see the hearse starting to pile out here the village is still finishing up on those zebra in the main base for shadow facts he will be moving forward most likely onto these zebra around this location here and he's gonna have to be fighting for hunt for this entirety of the game no walls coming up here either for shadow facts as the freya just about to pop we see the ravens popping around here as well looking for everything as the scrailing Sitting up on this side as well. Looking for something to take out here. As now the scrailing runs up over here. Going to be looking to take out some of those citizens up at the top location here. The, the, the manor is in a good spot. Forest fire on this location. Not going to do all too much here. 
Uh, as the Scrambling takes that first fight, we see the Valkyries coming through. Longhouse is coming in. Villagers moving forward onto this location as well as they're jumping over onto the other giraffe, over onto the other side of the map here, pushing back into the forest here. Grass not paying too much attention as we do see the forest fire getting dropped. No path block allowed there. The mana not quite in range of the uh, of the tree there. Good positioning from Grass as we do see a hero oracle getting converted. Grass coming through to push Shadowfax back. He's got two hero oracles in onto this location. He's converted those nicely. Meanwhile, we do see the double military barracks coming down for Grass as well. As this Valkyrie moving around here to start harassing the citizen on this location. As I mean, there's another. I mean, you can also just convert two oracles here. Utilize the third oracle to to convert into a uh, into a into a citizen uh, into a hero hero oracle with the use of valor, if you so choose. But I definitely think three uh, three Mamilo a good idea here. As the oracle over there does end up getting taken down. There's the valor coming through, and grass is ready to. Push up and defend his hunt. Now, Grass here, it looks like he hasn't... Well, he has been building villages. I keep on thinking that Grass doesn't build Citizen too often. He, like, cuts them when he does these builds. But it seems like, for the most part, he's able to afford everything as the army of Shadowfax getting pushed back here. Shadowfax knows that there's uh, just longhouses at this point. So the question is, will he decide to build some throwing axemen here or not at this point? Looks like he doesn't, as the units are going to be retreating back here as well. It's now the Ulvsar coming in here to push back. He gets the Valkyrie to come through. 60 population for Shadowfax to Grass's 54 population. This is something that I kind of spent some time trying to work out. And if you can do a build order, if you do the build correctly here with Aranos, you can get to 60 population by six minutes. That's the kind of arbiter of a really, really solid early game build. Getting 60 population by six minutes means you have um, successfully macroed. And you do see that Grassy, while he wasn't quite there, he has managed to catch up above Shadowfax here in a, in a really good way. And Shadowfax is trying to push through, and I bet you he wishes he had another forest fire here in this game, but he just does not have access to two as the army going to start taking the fight on this position. The question is, will these Ulfsark be able to win this fight? And I think the answer, generally speaking, is Mermillo win these fights. You take a look at the, the, the damage per second, it's a little bit less, nine damage per second versus eight damage per second, but the HP is significantly higher. Not only that, this Promethean is going to town on this location as the Ulfsark trying to micro around here for Shadowfax, but Grassy's is doing a really good job of focus firing here as Shadowfax loses all of his population trying to make that fight work and he's in a really really difficult position now as grass yes he's gonna have a lot of low hp units here shadowfax though retreating back he is down population he's gonna be in a very very difficult spot we do see some throwing axe we're gonna be coming through here to get some damage done to grass grass will most likely be dropping or it's already dropped a counter barracks i love the kyra ballister pick here over grabbing some terma at this point why because Kyra Ballister, defend those. Ulf Sark die. Throw an Axeman die. It's a fantastic unit. So long as you defend it, so long as you, you can prevent the, the uh, Valkyrie from jumping onto it, you're going to be in a good position. As uh, Shadowfax finishing up with the Zebra over on that location is the Ulf Sark swinging away, around. We do see another Valor coming in for Grass as he's going to be looking for some raids here. Big question is, where does Shadowfax go as the Mermillo are swinging in here? There's a handful of units ready to defend, and those are throwing axemen. They're a little bit scary for Grass to deal with as uh, Shadowfax moves through. He's got his eyes set on the Gazelle on this position. So we do see a little bit of a raid coming in, trying to snipe down some Mermillo. Grass does manage to retreat back there. Uh, the old Sark searching around, looking for something to take out. Meanwhile, the unit's taking the fight on this position. Shadowfax is going to be having to retreat back. He's in a very difficult position as the shockwave comes in. You're not allowed to retreat there, says Grass and Groom. Get back here. Shadowfax forced 
to, to take this fight to some degree as the Curry Ballister on the back. He can get dove on there by Shadowfax. He's running through, sends a handful of units there to finish off that Curry Ballister. The unit's pushing through to get some damage done. There are so many Prometheans in here with only the one uh, Hursa, and that's going to get taken down very, very quickly here. Population 97 for Grass to 64 for Shadowfax as Shadowfax is just not able to continue fighting here in this game. He's just run out of population, run out of hunt, run out of hope here, ladies and gentlemen. There have been so many quick games today. Everything's been less than 10 minutes. These guys have not worked out how to stay alive in these games as Grass is really coming through with a very, very solid anti-Odin strategy here. He has utilized this to some great effect here in uh, in this tournament thus far. The question, the ball is 100% now in Odin's court to deal with this. How do you deal with the double Mermilla opening here, which Grass and Groom is throwing in? You've got to be going back to the drawing board and realizing, you know what? Maybe there's a different way to go here. Guarantee you there is, but Shadowfax doesn't work it out here in this game. Grass playing out of his mind here. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.